Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sean McKay, and I uh, just wanted to share some thoughts and, and concerns I had watching this whole Zillow uh, debacle unfold. Um, you know, as a lot of you guys have probably already seen, Zillow is shutting down their iBuyer program. So they had this program where people could uh, submit information about their property, and Zillow would kind of put it through their technology and their algorithms. They would make an offer and some portion of the time, Zillow would actually end up buying your property. And so Zillow was obviously really enthusiastic about this program. They rolled it out heavy, and it was something that they thought was really going to take their company to the next level. And as some of you have seen over the last week, they put out information that essentially they're shutting down their iBuyer program. And so as real estate investors, I think there's a few takeaways and some lessons we can learn from this kind of meltdown from Zillow and with their business model. And so the first thing I want to talk about is really just kind of their, their flawed understanding, frankly, of real estate, which is kind of crazy considering they are a technology company around information uh, pertaining to real estate transactions. But it seemed pretty obvious that they, they fundamentally don't understand that real estate is very much a local investment. And so, as I alluded to earlier, they have this technology, they have these algorithms where they feel like they can pull data in terms of sold comps, in terms of properties for sale, and get a really specific valuation for what a particular property is worth. Now, as we've seen, unfortunately, Zillow has been losing significant money on the average property that they would buy and turn around and sell. And so clearly that algorithm is very flawed. And so as real estate investors, I think that it is so much easier for us to be successful when we're investing locally, we're investing in our own backyard, where we understand the different nuance between two neighborhoods that are actually adjoined, that one neighborhood can be significantly more valuable than another neighborhood. And even getting more granular, we find that in a particular neighborhood, there's kind of the quote unquote good side of that neighborhood. And then the rougher side of that neighborhood that maybe has more kind of beaten down properties and things like that. And so I think understanding that real estate is local is really, really critical. Another thing that I wanted to highlight is that when we look at this whole Zillow model, it's honestly pretty perplexing to see that they let this go on for over a year, where essentially they would buy a property, they would sell it, and they would lose money on it. And kind of the, the joke that you hear sometimes is, uh, well, you can just make it up in volume, which of course is, is pretty absurd. If you're, if you're losing money on a strategy, you don't want to keep doing that strategy over and over and over again, right? That, that's the definition of insanity. That's the definition of, frankly, almost trying to lose money. And so what we've been hearing over the last 18 months is first it was, well, we, we wanted to see a proof of concept. We wanted to see that this model of volume buying was something that can be done. Well, frankly, with any asset, if you're willing to overpay, yes, you can buy a volume of anything if you're willing to completely overpay for that asset. And so once we got through kind of that whole story about proof of concept, then what we heard was, well, we're creating a brand. And so what we're doing is we're getting market share. Now, to me, that's just as foolish because essentially what we have is a situation where they believe that there's some brand that they can have with the seller's market, that sellers are going to be more interested in selling to seller A versus seller B because of, quote unquote, some sort of brand. Now, as someone who's bought real estate, as someone who's sold real estate, what I can tell you is we want to sell to the, quote unquote, best buyer. And usually the best buyer is going to be the buyer that is going to pay the most for our property. And so, yes, you're going to buy more properties, but if you're overpaying and ultimately losing money, they're willing to sell you properties. But if you become a more sophisticated buyer, you become less valuable. So there's no brand to being kind of, no disrespect to the, the, the giant Zillow, but kind of the dumb buyer. You want to be a good buyer 
And so ultimately, this idea of brand recognition and ultimately everyone would just want to sell their properties to Zillow is, is kind of nonsensical when you think about it. Sellers are going to want to sell to the person or the company or whatever the entity might be that is going to be certainly in some ways an easy buyer, but also one that's going to pay them the most amount of money. And so as a real estate investor, I think that there's a lot that we can take away from watching these, these tech giants uh, have these kind of catastrophic public fumbles. And again, I certainly make a tremendous amount of mistakes as a real estate investor, but I think learning that we can certainly do much better locally, we can also do much better that when we make a mistake, we don't proactively keep making the same mistake over and over and over again, and also just have a little bit of humility in this idea that if something isn't working, to continue to do the same thing over and over again is probably not going to yield us better or different results. And so as real estate investors, when we make these mistakes, let's take inventory and let's learn from these mistakes and hopefully not at least make those exact same mistakes over and over again. Uh, so hopefully that was valuable for you today. Uh, if it was, definitely feel free to subscribe to our channel. Please feel free to leave a like or a comment and uh, we'll be bringing you some more of these takes and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks so much.